When you first get into drafting, whether it be on the computer or hand drafting, you're going to notice a couple of things that run in common. The first thing is the views. There are three views that are generally accepted as the major views in any drafting work that is done. You have your front, your top, and your right side view. In this video, we'll describe all of those views, how they work, and what exactly they represent. The front, top, and right views of an object are imagined ways of looking at an object if you were looking at it straight on and then rotated it in the ways described. The front view is looking exactly at the front of an object. If you rotate it to the right, you're looking straight on at the right. And if you rotate it to the top, you're looking straight on at the top or straight down on an object. In addition to the front, top, and right side views, you have the isometric view. The isometric view shows all three of the other views and gives you a realistic representation of what the object looks like in three dimensions while existing on a 2D plane. Before we get into the views, let's describe three key terms that describe an object. Those terms are width, height, and depth. Width describes an object from left to right. Height describes an object from top to bottom, and depth describes an object from front to back. To begin with, let's talk about the front view. The front view generally represents the widest width and the tallest height. It doesn't always have to. In the case of something like a skyscraper, it generally represents the resting position of an object or building or whatever it's showing. Of the three views, the front view is also the most important view. It controls parts of the other ones that we'll discuss in just a moment. The right view shows the height of an object and it also shows the depth of an object, how big the object is from front to back. Now, a moment ago, I mentioned why the front view is so important. The front view is important because it controls the height of the right view. The right view and the front view must have the exact same height. There cannot be any difference. They should line up perfectly. If you were to take a line from the bottom of the front view and draw it over to the bottom of the right view, they should match up. If you did the same thing with the top line on a front view and the top line on a right view, they will match up. The top view shows the width of an object as well as the depth of an object. If I take the left edge of my front view and draw a line straight up, it will match the left edge of my top view. If I draw a line on the right edge of my front view straight up, it will match the right edge of my top view. The two are linked together. The depth of my top view and the depth of my right view should also match. As a quick review, the front view shows the width and the height. The width is represented by X, height is represented by Y. The right view shows depth and height. Depth is represented by Z and height is represented by Y. And finally, the top view shows width and depth. Width is represented by X and depth is represented by Z.